<laughs> and we can't do the timing anymore. Okay, I'm gonna read this one. Camex Winter Holiday. Ah! Yes, with, exactly. With the platter over him. The Snow Kingdom. The A place platter. known for its frigid snow, frigid ice, frigid... Well, everything. Very few people come to this place, with it being so dangerous and all. Some come to explore, some come to see, and others still come to make snow cones using the pristine snow found in this area. One magic Koopa, however, had come here for a very different reason, which he was now beginning to question if it was a good idea or not as he rode above the snowy mountain on his broom. Well, this was a mistake, thought Kamek, the cold chilling him past his shell and to his bones as he made his way through the snow kingdom, looking for the winter resort. When the Cooper Kingdom's royal sorcerer had received an invitation for the newly built winter resort, he had originally planned to just ignore it or perhaps just give it to somebody else who might want it more than him, such as what? Junior or perhaps one of the Cooperlings. Unfortunately, Can't believe his it. plans were shattered when Bowser had decided to kidnap Peach again. Only this time, all of Peach's underwear went missing. <laughs> what the hell? So when Mario inevitably uh, came to save Peach, she decided to occupy the Koopa Keep until she could find her underwear. Throwing Bowser into the dungeon of his own castle while she was occupying, she did not seem to have any issues with the kids. Kamek had decided to get out of there as quickly as he could, and this invitation was pretty much the perfect excuse. Although now he was beginning to wonder if he should have just taken his chances in the castle. Well, tackiness notwithstanding, at least you can't miss it. Kamek muttered to himself, seeing the bright orange resort rise over the hill in the middle of the snowy wasteland. After finding the neon green front door, Kamek was pleasant to the interior. Us. There was a large lobby right in front of him, with three and very this, long couches arranged around a triangle on a coffee table. Each one facing ah! a two ah! hard two different do anymore. Can't do it anymore. <laughs> the floor was a ah! nice red hardwood with soft, fluffy rocks everywhere. What had caught Kamek's interest the most were the paintings on the wall. It's so precise. Oh that wow! Kamek thought, his face turning a slightly deeper shade of red. While not being explicit necessarily, they certainly were not something that you would call family friendly. One of them was a Koopa without any shell or clothes on. The only thing keeping him from being laid bare being a single fuzzy that was blocking the view. It's not like that was the only one though, as he saw several all across the largest lobby. It also wasn't just Koopas either. Every race in the Mushroom Kingdom, and even a few not in the Mushroom Kingdom, was on the walls, each in different loot positions. Kamek was so engrossed in looking at the art on the wall, he did not notice that he was no longer alone. Uh, hello, sir? <coughs> Kamek yelped, wheeling okay, around and nearly bumping into the nose of the white yellow Yoshi, who had been standing behind him. He looked want to, to suck you, but I don't want to... Big nose, <laughs> sand on the back, and those boots of Yoshi just seemed to never take off. Want to suck you, then oh, jump over it. Nothing did we set this Yoshi again. apart from the other ones Kamek had seen, and that was how he was dressed. He was dressed as a typical bunny waiter, with black bunny ears, a red vest, with a green thong and stocking arrangement. Granted, Kamek could barely tell that there was a thong, because the Yoshi was sporting a rather sizable erection, which was being pointed right at him. Oh wow, now it's uh, escalating, I guess. Um, hello? Kamek stammered, a blush evident on his face. I received an in invitation for a winter re resort. I'm not sure if this is it or not. Oh, the Yoshi said, his face lightening up, seemingly oblivious to how uncomfortable Kamek was. Welcome to the resort, sir. Could I please see your invitation? Sh sure. Kamek mumbled, passing the Yoshi's invitation, averting his eyes from the Yoshi's crotch as best as he could. Thank you very much, Mr. Kamek, the Yoshi said, beaming a smile at him. Please, allow me to show you to your room, sir. Without waiting for a response, the Yoshi turned around, giving Kamek a nice view of his thick, plump ass. Oh god, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Kamek thought, hurrying to follow the Yoshi as he hurried down a nearby hall. 
Please, sir, allow me to tell you a bit about how the resort works. The Yoshi began, his tone suggest suggesting that he had done this many times, either to guests or just in the mirror. My name is Abraham, and I will be your tour guide, waiter, and personal assistant for your time here. If you need what? anything at all, please feel free to ask me. So now that. Oh. Are, you still, are you following me? <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> While Abraham rattled on about the history of the resort, Kamek was having a hard time focusing on what he was saying, being more preoccupied with staring at his ass. In fact, Kamek was so distracted by Abraham's thick butt <laughs> that he did not notice that Abraham had stopped until he bumped into him, his butt colliding with Kamek's hips. Gah! Abraham yelped, not expecting Kamek to bump into him. Though he certainly was not complaining after feeling Kamek's clothed erection grace between his ass cheeks. Oh, sir, I understand that you are excited, but I think you should wait to get settled in before we have any fun. Despite saying that, the Yoshi couldn't resist teasing the poor nerd. Wait, I was using his you. ass I cheeks to get on Kamek's cock it. before moving forward a bit. Speaking of which, here's your room, sir. While Kamek attempted to spot out a denial, uh, sorry, denial, Abraham opened a nearby door, gesturing for Kamek to come in. Kamek hesitantly stepped in, feeling more than a little uncomfortable. Oh. Oh. Ah, Kamek no. had been impressed no. by the lobby. He was equally, if not more, impressed by his room. I mean, the only paintings on the wall were some abstract art pieces, none of the more lewd paintings that adorned the lobby. The floor was a nice blue shag carpeting, which smelled as though it had recently been shampooed. There was a large flat screen TV built into the wall opposite the large red queen sized bed. Wow, Kamek said, a hint of surprise evident in his voice. I must say, this room is amazing. Abraham beamed with pride as he watched Kamek look over the room, being happy that he liked the hard work that had gone into making the room as cozy as possible. So, sir, now that you know where your room is, please allow me to tell you a bit about how our resort operates. Abraham began, knowing he would forget if he did not tell Kamek now. First, sir, please allow me to offer you this specially made collar in order to help to make your experience here extra Yo, Red Panda, welcome to the stream. With that, Ab Abraham produced a collar and held it out towards Kamek. It was a simple thing made of some kind of metal with the only decoration on it being a small red heart on the front of it. However, oh. Kamek, being an experienced mage, recognized it to be something far more than just a mere piece of apparel. Not only does this collar act as a room key, it also comes with a very useful feature to have in a cool hey. place like oh. this. Oh. Abram, yeah? <laughs> he's not aiming! Yeah, I think that he's too thinking long. about Kamek's erection <laughs> <No>. right now. <laughs> um, It Mark contains a room that allows you to always feel warm, no matter what the temperature is. You can even stand outside stark Sun. naked and not feel even the slightest bit cold. Kamek was impressed, if not a little apprehensive. Well, that's wait, wait, no, wait, I'm wait. interested in, the, in that warm okay. room, but I'm not sure why it has to be a collar? Surely a ring would have worked just as well? Kamek asked, feeling a little embarrassed. Well, sir, we need the extra space on the collar in order to fit in all of the runes into it. Abraham patiently explained. However, we do have an alternative option, which is... <laughs> which is a specialized cock ring. Donuts? The donuts? I'll take the collar, Kamek blurted out, a blush forming on his face as he snatched the collar out of Abraham's hands. Get down, That's the wish, sir. No <laughs> just barely on. holding back a smirk as he watched Kamek fumble with the collar God, before it's lagging. able to pull the back apart and snap it around his neck. Now that we have that taken care of, sir, perhaps you would like me to give you a tour of the resort? Kamek thought for a moment before shaking his head. Ah! Actually, I think that before anything ah! else, I would like to take a bath. Oh, it's missing the it same a really one. long time to get here. Ah! Ah, of course, sir, Abram said as he bowed in agreement. I would just do it. I'll be back in one. half an hour. 
Maybe I'm okay, sure it's Hank it. <laughs> agreed. Watch with Abraham ah! leaving the room. Taking the opportunity to check out his ass! Hello, Rena. Welcome to the Before stream. the door shut with a small click. Thank you for Kamek. stopping by. Kamek breathed a sigh of relief as he finally had a moment to collect his thoughts. Despite the overall sexual nature of the resort, it seemed like a very nice place to take his vacation. Even if it wasn't so nice, it was preferable to being at the castle right now. Well then, Kamek thought to himself, let's go ahead and take that bath. With that, Kamek walked over to what he assumed was the bathroom door, which opened automatically when he walked up to it, most likely due to the collar. Like every where else in the resort, the bathroom locked unusual. Uh, sorry, the bathroom looked unusual, but still very nice. The tub was actually built into the floor, so it looked more like a hot tub. Rather than having a mirror over the sink, there was instead a full body mirror just to the side of the sink. Wow! Kamek thought to himself as he started to remove his cloak and shell. I could get used to this. With his shell and cloak removed, It took a second to look at I'm in the mirror. His belly jutted out a good three inches out from his body, with some nice thick moves to okay. accompany it. <laughs> Gary, this is your thing now. Moves. Uh... Going down, he had a nice plump ass, which the other Coopers were quick to point out to him in the shower room, mainly to make fun of him for it. We do it again. Looking at this front, he was quite reasonably endowed, with some rather hefty balls to go along with his six-inch cock, which was averagely thick. Are you aroused yet, Dario? <laughs> After looking at himself in the mirror for a bit, he walked over to go the top to the to fill with water as he approached, presumably due to the <laughs> collar as well. Kamek sighed in relief as he lowered himself into the nice hot water. You know, I imagine that this is how King Bowser baths, he thought as he begins to wash himself. I guess I know what it's like to live in the lap of luxury. After taking Ariel. the time to wash himself, Kamek began to cheese at this point. Alright, 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 alright. Yoshi from earlier springing to mind. But as much as Kamek would have liked to jack off, <laughs> he knew that Abram would be back any second now, so he definitely did not have time to do oh that. Oh my right god, now. that was so fucking close. With some reluctance, Kamek heaved himself out of the bath, looking around for a way to dry himself, his eyes eventually Again? being drawn to a device in the corner labeled the dryer, which looked like an oversized speaker built into the wall. Walking over to it, he saw a small button next to it which he promptly pressed. This caused a large breeze to shoot out of the opening in the wall, which lasted for a good 30 seconds. Well, Kamek thought, picking himself off the ground, why annoying that was quite effective. With that, Kamek turned around, ready to put his uh, shell and cloak back on in order to meet with Abraham. His shell and cloak were both gone! Confused, Kamek blinked a couple of times, looking around <sighs> the room to see if the dryer had blown him around off. the room or something. However, he soon realized this Unless is not Unless something will happen and we somehow Puzzled, die. He walked back out into his main room, convinced that he had somehow left them out there. Yeah. And yeah. determined oh my to find them before God, Abraham finally. came back and saw him in such a state. Scanning the room to see if they were there, he unfortunately could not see them. You did it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. But uh, I think there's another thing you have to do. Uh, the boss. Uh, what? I mean, the oh my god, I thought, I thought that it didn't count now. Now you oh have no, to the find the boss on the boss. Jesus. Maybe, well, if it is... So Terry don't want to play anymore, Wyatt. <laughs> no, I'm oh. reading this fanfiction. No, we have it's to actually, finish it. It's actually very well written. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. And I'm serious, actually. Forget the boss challenges. Right. The boss challenges. All right, this is the last one we need. Just not getting hit. I mean, don't forget the boss started don't around forget the room, the they were eventually drawn to the, the bed. Challenges. In a moment of desperation, Kamek dived under there, hoping to the star spirits that his clothes were under the bed. Unfortunately, there was no it's such thing. Worse, Abram had chosen that exact moment to <laughs> come back. <laughs> Uh, uh, or Mr. is this Kamek where the kids say, I am not interrupt 
Abraham what? started stopping as soon as he saw the situation Kamek was in. Though if you had asked Abraham, he certainly would not be complaining. Kamek being halfway under the bed allowed him to get a, the perfect view of his MASSIVE ASS! With a decent view of Kamek's nice plump balls in his barely wow. visible pink hole. <laughs> Shaking his head a bit to shake himself out of his butt-induced stupor, he quickly rushed over to Kamek. Sir! Abram started. Are you okay? Do you need medical attention? <laughs> Kamek, now knowing that he was no longer alone, blushed furiously and tried to wiggle his way under the bed some more in order to hide. Unfortunately, he soon ran into a bit of a problem, as his chubby body made it so that he was stuck with his ass hanging out. <laughs> uh, I am fine, but I think I'm stuck under here. Kamek mumbled, his cheeks turning bright scarlet. Oh dear, let me just help you out of here. Abraham mumbled, sitting down behind Kamek and grabbing his hips. Taking a deep breath and stealing himself, he pulled back as hard as he could. Unfortunately, it seemed that Kamek was wedged in there quite well. Have a boss strategy. So his pulling wasn't really doing much. Just oh stay my. on the left. Abraham thought, his bro furrowing. This doesn't seem to be working, what should I do? Sitting back for a second, he wondered what he should do before coming up with an idea that befit the resort itself. Actually, maybe you can give me a boost with the egg so I can jump a bit higher. Taking a and second fire. to stand up, Abraham reached out and groped at Kamek's big, luscious ass. Wait, what are you? Ah! Kamek started to be interrupted when he felt his ass being spread apart, exposing his heart. <laughs> his face turned an even deeper shade of red when he felt something I think, wet uh, and those, slimy. I think the max coins is 9,999. <laughs> wet and slimy brush across his hole. It did not take a genius to realize what Apron was doing. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I know what I'm doing, Apron said. Before taking a deep breath and practically shooting his long, why is there so tongue. much ass? Uh, right I don't into know. Maybe the, ass. <laughs> maybe the the writer really likes asses. <laughs> yeah, Kamek couldn't help but moan as he felt the tongue burrow into his ass, slowly feeling it start to bunch up inside of him. Despite the awkward situation, Kamek couldn't stop himself from getting hard. His cock leaking a small bit of pre onto the floor. Oh, Koopa Christ, this feels so good! <laughs> Kamek thought to himself, <laughs> wishing he could push the Yoshi down and ride his face to climax. Deeper! Kamek moaned, please give me more! Abraham smirked, pulling his tongue all the way out of Kamek's ass, pulling his cheeks apart to reveal his slightly stretched pink hole. Oh, it appears someone likes having their ass played with. He said in a sultry tone as he pushed two of his fat Yoshi fingers into his ass, enjoying the small, surprised squeal from his guest before abruptly pulling them out and standing up. Are you following me? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Don't worry, okay, I will do you. Try to one... give me a boost here. I'll do you one better, sir. Apron promised no, as he lined up his throbbing Yoshi it. cock with Kamek's slightly puffy and now loose entrance. Kamek tensed up in anticipation of getting his ass fucked. <gasps> Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. Ahem. A voice coughed from behind the two of them. Abraham, what have I told you about this kind of shit? I did not get. Before Abraham could respond, he felt a large hand slap his ass. Whirling around to berate the intruder on his loot show, he wasn't even able to oh get one word out of the Hit it, no, hit it. recently cleaned, Plunger was shoved into his large Yoshi nose, causing him to fall on his well-endowed rear. Okay, good to jump, now. If the customer is stuck under the bed, the newcomer uh, continued, you get them out before you start tonguing their ass or whatever. Oh, you fucking hear me? Got it, Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Abraham grumbled, his voice sounding a bit nasally due to the plunger blocking his nose, which he then attempted to pull off his face. Alright, give me a boost. Unfortunately, all this accomplished was making him look like a cat attempting to claw a piece of tape off its forehead. Rolling his eyes, I Roosevelt think that way we can dodge those fast ones, plunger, 
planting his boot on Abram's chest before pulling back on the plunger, which caused it to come neatly off his nose with a large pop. Turning over to Kamek, he then picked up a second plunger and smushed it into, onto his ass cheeks, <laughs> one for each cheek. Feeling this, Kamek made a small eep, with feeling the suction directly on his cheeks, not that he found it to be that bad of a feeling or all. Hearing Kamek's surprised squeak, Roosevelt couldn't help but smirk a bit at the reaction from the big-ass guest. Despite the little lecture he gave to Abram earlier, he couldn't help but play with the captive little Cooper a bit, pulling the plungers ah. apart to reveal the pink pucker located within. It's still gaping a bit and looking shiny from the rim job that it had received earlier. Taking in the sight laid before him, Roosevelt let out a small whistle, much to Kamek's embarrassment. Nice ass kid! Rue's word complicate. How do I uh, say that? Before getting back Stop. to business. Okay, kid, I'm gonna try what? and pull you out now. <gasps> try and suck no! him out. So then it goes a bit he's, smoother. He's All shooting right. the ball too high there, or we can dodge this. Alright. Kamek started feeling incredibly embarrassed damn. by the situation he found Fucking himself damn. in. But nevertheless, trying to suck in his gut as best as he could. I guess we can trick him. Well. <laughs> So are you liking the shooting so far? Um, it's very assy, I <laughs> guess. <laughs> and also, yeah. <clears throat> um. Meanwhile, Rose World grabbed both of his plunger, plunger, plungers in one hand and levered his foot against the bed. Hearing Kamek suck in his breath, he decided that Kamek was ready and yanked on the plungers as hard as he could. Kamek immediately popped out of there, pulling the plungers off of his ass and sliding into the opposing wall. Looking up to thank the Yoshi who helped him out of there, his voice caught in his throat as he looked up at the incredibly manly looking Yoshi. Seeing that Rue's world was all muscle wouldn't be entirely true as he did have a slight gut to him. However, he did have very muscular arms and legs, which complemented his bright brown scales rather nicely. Compared to Abraham, he was a bit taller and much more traditionally dressed, which for Yoshi culture meant that he was completely what? naked, except for the typical I boots and gloves that all Yoshi wore. <laughs> what? Yoshi Ass! Was Sneaking a glance between his legs, Kamek's blush intensified as he noted that while his cock was a bit shorter than his and Abram's, it was at least twice as thick, if not more. Noticing what? Kamek's perverted stare, uh, Roosevelt rolled his eyes before walking over to him. Sheesh, kid, you stare any harder at my dick and your eyes are bound to <coughs> pop out of your head. <laughs> he teased <laughs> as he reached out his hand to help the fallen Cooper up. Oh, I'm sorry, Kamek mumbled as he took Roosevelt's hand, his face bright red and his dick still hard from the view and the previous rim job. Ha! <laughs> Roosevelt <laughs> laughed as he held Kamek up. Don't worry about it, kid. I take it as a compliment. Be oh sad. my god. <laughs> he paused as he reached his hand around to Kamek's fat ass and taking the opportunity to squeeze his fat cheeks, kneading them as though they were a large amount of dough. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't looking as well. After all, it's not every day you see an ass this soft around here. <laughs> it was at this point that Kamek remembered that he was completely naked in some sort of wow, weird great. sex was brought, with no idea of where the hell his clothes were. With that revelation, he ripped his way away from Rue's world and turned to Abraham. Abraham, I have no fucking idea where my clothes are. Can you please help me? Mmm. Abram hung, looking around the room in bewilderment. Sorry, sir, but I can't seem to see your clothes anywhere in here. Whose world? Did you see them anywhere? Huh? Whose world grunted as he dug through a janitor's car that Kamek was not just noticing was in the room with them. I don't fucking know. I didn't see them anywhere around the room. Some fuckhead put it stuck in and stole them while you were bathing. With him bending over, it also happened to give the both of them a nice view of his toned and muscular ass, with his tight-looking pink hole just barely visible, which gave off the impression that he did not take much in there, if at all. 
damage to both. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> okay. That was that was one that amazing scream. Uh, okay, that was a little over the top now. <laughs> oh my Obviously god. Obviously not impressed with this turn of events. <laughs> Wait, what in the hell am I supposed to do? Ah! Kamek's angry little aside suddenly stopped as he felt a cold liquid being sprayed directly against his hole. Twisting his head around, he saw that Roosevelt was aiming a hose that was attached to the card at his ass and was spraying it viciously with water. What? Roosevelt asked, looking up and seeing Kamek's annoyed expression. I'm a janitor, it's my job to clean stuff, and that ass definitely looks like it needs cleaning. Oh. I'll hand him. Nodding to himself. He uh, don't you wanna to go on the other side? No, we don't. We can't do more damage. <laughs> I think. Before Kamek could turn him off, Abraham spoke up again. Sir, sure, we can I'm do extremely more damage sorry about this. this. It is completely unprofessional, and we will do everything in our power to find this person and get your clothes back. Now, with that being said, you don't need clothes at all to enjoy our resort. So I would recommend taking, uh, taking a tour with me of the resort while my colleague here looks for your clothing so that you're able to get the clothes out of your visit. Alright, this is... Kamek was a bit shocked by Abraham's sudden uh, suggestion. If he was back in Bowser's castle, he would throw the both of them out of his room, roll up in a blanket and wait until someone found his clothes. In this situation though, he felt as though that would be the wrong choice for a few reasons. Firstly, Abram seemed like such a nice guy and really did not want to upset him at all. Secondly, he had oh, no idea no. Come on, somebody would find his clothes. Get he, here for two weeks, and he did not want to waste his whole vacation sitting in this room sulking. Actually, actually Dario, you messed up I, because uh, you did you coom, hit Dario? it with did you coom to my fanfiction? <laughs> Look, Look, at my Look at my Yoshi! Oh my god. Yeah. Chocolate oh. Yoshi. Yeah. Next time we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you look like a brownie or a cookie or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Finally, he felt that in this environment he could afford to take a lot of risks since he was only visiting. What was the old saying? Ah yes, you only live once. Oh great. <laughs> Hammond then opened his mouth to reply. However, as soon as he did, SMACK! He felt a large hand spanking his ass, causing his cheeks to wobble around like fresh jello. All clean! Bruce World announced as though he hadn't just smacked Kamek's ass. Anyways, Kamek sighed, choosing to ignore Roosevelt's, uh, Roosevelt's spanks. Well, Abraham, you definitely convinced me. Let's go on a tour. Yippee! Abraham shouted with the playfulness of a small child as he took a vice grip on Kamek's hand. Okay, sir. I can't wait to show you around our resort. We have so many wonderful places here like our lounge and our courtyard and our BDSM dungeon and our frozen yogurt stand. Abram continued like this as he dragged a flustered Kamek out of the door and into the hallway, leaving behind a slightly annoyed and erect Roosevelt. Aw, he grumbled. I was gonna ask him to suck me off. Oh well, I got a job to do. I bet the fucker who stole his clothes was that creepy orange bastard. How the hell does he keep getting in here anyways? I swear, I oughta... And thus he kept grumbling to himself alone in the room while Abraham was showing Kamek around the resort. To be continued. What? No! What? Why does it end there? No! No! Please. <laughs> what? Uh. So disappointing. It just ended. Uh. When was it posted? January 2nd. This year, apparently. Damn it! It's really the end. There's no more to it. God damn it! When was this posted? Left, left. Second January. Damn it has man. one review. This is actually a really good story. This seems like it was based in the new Super Mario Brothers series, which is a nice change for me. Your grammar and spelling seems to be great as well. Nice work. Can't wait for the next chapter. And it's written by Kyo00048. And this is the only story. Too bad. Well, maybe he will finish it, but it takes like 
while, I but guess. he joined like uh, October 13, 2013. Hmm. Well, too bad. To be honest, it was really well written. But, uh, <laughs> things it was all about that ass it, and the butthole. Yeah, very <laughs> ass. But that was like, uh, yeah, very well written. I'm kind of disappointed that there's no second part now. Yeah. Damn it! Oh man. We should make a highlight of that and send it to. Um, this New guy meaning and tell him, to eat that booty like a grocery. Get it. Get it. <laughs>